For many producers, keeping up with the latest technology and equipment is all the rage. But that's not the case for one farmer we found near Christine, North Dakota. It looks like it's pretty good, and I think the protein is at least average. The okay. color is good on the wheat this year, okay. and all the crops are doing pretty good. Randy Rader is like any other producer. He takes good care of his crops. Have had a little trouble harvesting this year because it's been so rainy and cloudy and whatever. And but Randy Rader isn't like most producers. He started farming in 1980 on his own. I don't know which is more antique, the farmer or the machinery. <laughs> and still has some of the same equipment. You won't find the latest and greatest machinery. People say, how come you have such crooked rows? And I say, well, you get more seed in the crooked rows. Or technology here. When I go to town, the people say, why don't you buy some new stuff? Drive that old junky stuff, we can't get parts for it, you know? So sometimes I have to go to the junkyard in South Dakota to get parts. This combine? You no, know, this is from the mid 70s here. We have two of these. And this truck? 1968. That's our oldest truck that we use for grain. The newest one I have is a 79, so that's probably about the newest of anything that I have. We have a 1950 Ford truck and people stopped me. The one day the, a lady came up to the field and, and she was taking pictures and I thought she was taking pictures of the sunset. So then I said, well, wait a minute, I'll move the truck out of the way for you. And she said, no, I'm trying to take a picture of the truck too. But it all gets the job done and it's all equipment Randy can work on himself. Well, that's the thing about this old stuff. You can still fix this. 